Hey guys, welcome back to my random life. Okay, so today I am actually going to be doing a little bit different view. All right, we've got the universal wireless speaker. All right, it is rated IRX4 as far as water resistance. All right, <clears throat> there's your specs. Come on, focus. There we go. All right, the full charge takes one to two hours. The playtime is three to five hours on a full charge. When I did a test on it, it actually took about three hours and 27 minutes to get that full charge or to uh, play through that full charge. All right, in the box, you also get a USB charging cable with that end. I don't know what you call that end, but it actually goes in here. All right. And yes, I did already try to film this, but it did not come out very well. So I'm refilming. <laughs> you also get the um, instructions, <laughs> which literally just looks like a picture that they printed off of the Amazon ad, which I will post a link to that down in the description. They are really easy to remember over here. All right, you actually have, as you can see, I do have a little light on it. Right now it's a blue light just telling me that it's on. When it's charging, it's a red light. If you're charging and playing, it's a purple light. But you've got the power button, next track and volume up. Just a quick press is next track. A long press is volume up your pause and play. You've got the previous track and volume down, and then you've got your microphone and your answer call button. All right, that's gonna answer and end the calls. I have not yet tried it. I would rather not use my speaker for answering the phone because when I'm using my speaker nine times out of 10, I'm actually just doing something that I don't want to be disturbed with. And as you guys saw in the quick unboxing video I did two or three weeks ago, this little cover does come out extremely easy. It is not very sturdy in my opinion, but it also goes back in easily. All right, the suction cup back here does work quite well. All right, it's I can slide it, but I have to really pull at it or peel up the suction cup. My one complaint, this is a ceramic tile I am putting it on. All right, and just watch this. It will eventually drop. Come on. So the only reason I did that is because cork at the bottom. All right, let me get some music going on this lovely little thing and I will actually show you guys, it does work quite well in water. So, uh, let's go London Symphony Orchestra's Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy. Somewhere. Ah, that's why, okay. So let's do Nutcracker Sweet. Are you going to be a little louder? You're not playing at all. Overture. Okay, so pause that. This is what I have going. All right, I have my YouTube music overture from London Symphony Orchestra from the Nutcracker. All right, 
So let's get this playing and I will stick you in the water. Obviously, it is having an issue at the moment. I'm not sure what's going on. It worked perfectly fine the very first time I tested it. It worked the fine second time I tested it and the third time. And now it is wanting to do this. I am actually going to turn it off. All right. And then I will actually put it on a towel to dry out. Hopefully that is all it needs. Um, honestly, for the price that I paid, which was like $6, maybe five or $6 with shipping, well, shipping was another four or $5. Overall, the entire speaker was $10, including shipping. But that lovely little speaker, it is well worth it. It does get very loud. It works quite well. I'm just not sure what's going on with it right now because it worked the last three times perfectly fine coming out of the water. Um, the suction cup does not hold as long as I would like. It holds quite well on glass on the uh, crappy little counter that I've got here. I'm not sure what that is. I think it's vinyl. It'll hold well on a wooden desk. The ceramic, it does not like to hold on to. I'm not sure if that's an issue with the suction cup or if it's because the ceramic might be textured. I know it doesn't hold on my paddleboard, which is also textured. So if that holds, has any, well, no, it wouldn't work like that because glass in the shower is textured. So I don't know what's going on with it, but it does work. It is waterproof for the most part, apparently. Um, and there's your buttons again. Um, I mean, for a whopping $10, including shipping, you can't really complain. I was not holding out very much hope for it. It does get loud. It will also get extremely quiet. It does work well. Um, yeah, I would definitely suggest finding something that's a little bit, uh, I would say a little more pricey because you do get what you pay for nine times out of 10. Again, this is a really great speaker if you're on a budget. which I usually am. I'm not upset about the fact that it's trying not to work. It may just need to dry out fully because it has dried out fully in between the last three times that I did it. Um, yeah, I will catch you guys next week. Uh, next week is actually going to be a full review on my paddle board. So yippee, be prepared for a long video because I'm not entirely sure how long that one's going to be. And if it is super duper long, I do apologize, but please bear with me. There will be lots of lovely information in there, including how long it takes to fully set it up and get ready for the water. Um, a quick trip on that one. Hopefully I will have that. And also how long it takes to break it down extra little stuff that I got in the box with it and as well as some information about my husband's board that we are dealing with and trying to get fixed now. Um, yeah, I will see you guys next week. Again, great little speaker. If you're on a budget, if you're not, 
try to get something a little more than $10, including shipping. All right. Until then, I will see you guys next week. Have a random day. As you can see, it is still working. And it's still playing. It really does work. It is waterproof.